be with me, your host, your friendly neighborhood, Natasha. Today's video is the last video in our Pride themed month, and I hope that no matter where you are in the world or however you identify, that you've had an amazing Pride month and that you have an amazing every month. So I borrowed a camera from the office and am making this little video about my Pride experience, so I had to get a little creative. I'm doing a vlog. <laughs> been left to my own devices and I am all by myself. All by myself. I won't sing that, that's really upsetting. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to share uh, how my pride went. So this was one of the first prides that I actually did a number of different events. And the first one I attended was a fundraiser for the Get Real Movement, which is an amazing nonprofit organization run by some friends of mine that I've become friends with. Uh, just through wanting to get involved with the organization myself. I went to this really awesome uh, fundraiser for it. Did I mention it's on a boat? And I brought my little brother with me and we had great food. I went to the cheese table, but all the cheese is gone. I ran into some friends who are also ambassadors for them. Are you having a nice time? We're having the best time. Can I put you on the spot and ask you what pride means to you in a word? And I even got to see some of my favorite Toronto drag performers perform, which was so, so awesome, because we were like surrounded by a beautiful skyline. Um, and then, of course, they raised the pride flag on the ship, and uh, I, I got like a little misty. Like, it was a nice, it was a nice proud moment. Then I really wanted to attend Cherry Bomb, which is a party for queer women that happens after the Dyke March, because it was the 10-year anniversary, and our amazing wardrobe stylist from Carmilla was actually performing. She's a fire spinner, which is super cool. But regretfully, I had to miss out. I was admittedly in bed by like 9 p.m. because I think the exhaustion finally caught up to me. Because, uh, you know, I was doing this little thing recently called the Carmilla movie, which you can pre-order on VHX, of course, if you haven't already, or go to carmillamovie.com to find out more information on it. But then, of course, uh, the second event I got to go to was the actual Pride Parade, the finale parade on Sunday, June 25th in Toronto. Uh, and that was such an awesome time. I've been to the parade many, many times, but this was my first time actually being on a float and actually getting to march in the parade. Uh, and it was really neat because it had rained earlier, so there were like actual rainbows around the city, super magical. And uh, I have to say that actually participating in the parade was such an awesome feeling. Uh, I even met some fans. Um, could you tell me what pride means in like one to three words to you? Three words. I thought I'd give you the option. <laughs> Inspiration. I love it. Just being yourself. I love it. We'll say it's a high fame word. Oh, yes. Just being yourself. That's three words. I did it. Yeah. 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 I get it. Amazing. And it was so nice to wave to everybody uh, in the crowd, even some familiar faces. And the highlight of it all was really getting to wave that giant, giant rainbow flag. Um, I, I got pretty emotional. I think I was just so overwhelmed by just the positive vibes that were so palpable, like you could feel it. And it was so lovely to just see like thousands and thousands of people like all across these Toronto streets just smiling and, and waving and, and having a great time and celebrating love and diversity and freedom. I think what's really cool about Pride, especially in such a multicultural city like Toronto, is that it is for everyone. It is for the entire acronym and also for our allies as well. Uh, one of the most touching things that I, I personally um, experienced at Pride was seeing like straight parents with signs that said, I love my queer kid. My takeaway is that it really shouldn't matter what gets you off in the bedroom or who you are sexually attracted to. Yes, being queer is an important part of my identity, but it's also not the entire makeup of who I am. I am just a flawed human who's trying the best. Uh, it's important to me to be a queer role model, but I'm also just a daughter and a sister and a friend. That's pretty much it. Uh, it was my first time vlogging. I have to say, uh, I have mad respect for my kind of TV team and also to all of you YouTubers out there who create things on your own because holy crap, it is really tough to like be in the mo moment and engage with people in real life and then also be holding a camera. But it was a cool experience and I'm glad that you all get to see Pride sort of through my lens. 
And also, for those of you who maybe didn't get to celebrate, maybe you were inside uh, because you just didn't feel up to going out, that's okay too. I hope that you also had an amazing pride. There were many uh, prides where I didn't go out at all because my anxiety and social anxiety got the best of me and I just stayed in and binge watched Netflix. There's no right or wrong way to do anything and this is just my humble opinion. You can take it or leave it, but I just think that we, uh, we all need to work on being a little less judgmental. Um, yeah. So that's it, that's the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but if you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, don't forget to keep it kind of classy. Bye. I hope that actually recorded.